hello everyone in this video we are going to uh, explain how we can uh, draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for a uniformly distributed load uh, in previous uh, example we considered only the point loads applied to our determinate structure but in this video we are going to discuss how we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for a uniformly distributed load with uh, using the direct method uniformly distributed load is one with having intensity of load applied uniformly over any span or uh, the length of the structure for example consider this uh, udl of 10 kN per meter 10 kN per meter means every for every uh, one meter or uh, any specific units for every per unit per length and the, unif and the intensity of load is uniform from the sp uh, span A to B. Uh, we are having a point load of 20 kN at C and a hinge support at A and a roller support at D. Hinge is having only two reactions, horizontal and verti uh, vertical reaction and while a roller is having only one vertical constraint. So moving towards uh, our uh, steps, we have only Two steps determining the reactions at sports how to determine the reaction we know the basic conditions of equilibrium already we did this step in our previous example where we applied the point loads at our structure but we have to keep these three equations in mind which are sum of all horizontal reactions should be equal to zero means having horizontal reaction uh, no other while no other horizontal reaction is acting at this structure so it should be equal to zero while vertical all reactions should be also equal to zero uh, a y of hinge and d y of ruler minus 10 into its total span 6 meter we will get a total force applied to work on an area a b minus 10 into 6 since is acting, it is acting downward so it is minus 60 minus 20 minus 80 ay plus dy is equal to 80 kN and third one is sum of all moments should be equal to 0 so dy into its total span then 6 plus 3 plus uh, 3 12 since it is producing a <coughs> counterclockwise moment so dy into 12 plus 90 into sorry 20 into 6 plus 3 9 since it is producing clockwise moment so it is taken as negative minus 10 into 6 and the moment for the UDL is taken from center of this total length we have 6 meter span of UDL and half of this 6 is 3 minus 10 into 6 minus 10 into 6 is actually the total force and the moment is actually the force multiplied by the distance center of moment from center of uh, origin of the moment so minus 10 into 6 is 60 is actually the force and the span from a to the center of UDL is 3 so minus 10 6 into 3 is actually the moment applied by this uh, udl on this structure so solving this equation we get dy is equal to 30 kN. and putting dy in equation number one we will get ay is equal to 50 kN. so now moving towards uh, the shear force and bending moment diagram after determining the reactions here comes step number two how we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram just we have uh, shown showed the reactions of at sport a and sport d 50 kN at upward at a and 30 kN upward at d just draw as we did earlier in our previous example drawing the vertical planes below the span a to b b to c and c to d four spans we have in this 33 spans we have in this example so we know that the 50 kN is acting upward just moving 50 kN upward and uh, since 10 into 6 meters 
this UDL is acting downward so 50 minus 60 minus 10 moving downward representing minus force here similarly in this portion now the force is acting similar uh, moving towards other portion towards point load and 20 kilonewton point load is acting downward so minus 10 minus 30 it comes out to uh, minus 20 it comes out to minus 30 and similarly moving straight no other load is acting in this case minus 30 plus 30 gives us zero shear force at this roller support we should keep, keep uh, one thing in our mind that the shear force having a for uh, for any udl is having a degree of always one whenever we will draw the shear force for a udl uh, example the degree of this line or the degree of shear force diagram will be one while this can be seen the degree of shear force is zero for this span having no load similarly no load having zero degree now mo moving towards this bending moment diagram bending moment diagram we know the area under the shear force diagram but this uh, udl line cuts the plane at arbitrary point between the span a b we did uh, we do not know this how much distance is from zero to this uh, line and how much is the distance from this to center of this cutted plane so how we can determine this distance very easy very simple we have just separated this portion this 50 minus 10 50 upward and minus 50 minus 60 we get minus 10 this portion of the shear force diagram separately just dragging this minus 10 towards this point consider this a c and b as a triangle we have written this uh, triangle abc perpendicular over base we know this from similar triangles rule we are going to determine we have just written triangle abc and similarly considering this triangle a d and uh, this a d and f triangle we are just comparing these two triangles and this bigger triangle having the perpendicular of 50 plus 10 just consider positive sign of this 10 numerically adding these two irrespective of their signs just add these dimensions to get the perpendicular of this bigger triangle having a perpendicular from a to c this is actually 50 plus 10 60 divided by its base total length is given 6 meter similarly smaller triangle having this vertical dimension of f to a 50 divided by its base which is actually unknown solving this we will get x1 is equal to 5 meter we know that since this total span is 6 meter and 6 minus x1 we get 5 so as x2 is ultimately this uh, de distance is actually 1 meter in this way we will we have determined this distance from d to f and uh, d to e writing this down at x1 is equal to 5 meter x2 is equal to 1 meter so 50 into 5 divided by 2 is it is actually the area under this triangle and uh, movement comes out to be 125 kilonewton meter since the degree of shear force is one the degree of bending moment diagram should be second two degree diagram two degree like we know that quadratic equation having a degree of two similarly drawing or drawing just like a curve to represent or to differentiate it from one degree line similarly the area under this diagram minus 10 into 1 divided by 2 just subtracting this area from 125 we will get 120 area of this diagram is 5 just subtracting this we will represent this by second degree also as this is 1 degree similarly this is a rectangle minus 10 into its span uh, we will get 30 kilonewton meter its uh, total area and subtracting it from as it is uh, under the negative portion of the diagram shear force 120 minus 30 it comes out to be 90 kilonewton per meter similarly this triangle this rectangle having an area of 30 into 390 so this is negative minus uh, minus 90 this is plus 90 kilonewton meter 
rotating this we will get zero bending moment at the end since we know that the degree of this shear force is zero degree and drawing uh, to or uh, trying to directly draw the one degree shear force at the end so all the bending moment diagram area comes out in the positive plane of reference so this is the way to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram in which udl or uniformly distributed load is applied to the intermediate structure however how number of udls can be applied but the method or determining this shear force and bending moment will remain same for every case so in this way in this way we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram in very quick way in which udl or uniformly distributed load is applied to any determinate structure that's all from today's video uh, thank you very much